Halo Reach on PC was at E3 this year, so we get a chance to see some UI settings, some awesome screenshots, as well as 343 employees playing PC Halo Reach. A new patch recently came into the MZC as well, kind of resolving an issue with the rocket launcher, some kill trading happening in Halo 2, and adjusted some vehicle settings in CEBTB, along with also finally get some official information on pricing when it comes to MCC on PC. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news information video for you guys here. You know, we've been talking a lot about Halo Infinite, but you know, MCC still is the hotness right now. We got a lot of stuff talking about the PC release. So if you guys like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below where your thoughts are on the video as well and the news in here as well. And if you're new to the channel and we'll stay up to date with anything Halo related that's MCC, Halo Infinite, Halo 5, everything in between. Make sure you tap subscribe with the bell because we all know all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. So yes, E3, the big event that happened this week. Obviously Halo Infinite's kind of taking up a big chunk of all the news, but hey, MCC, PC, Halo Reach Awesomeness was also at the E3 floor, floor right there, which is awesome. So we got a chance to see some awesome new screenshots. A lot of people talking about their experiences with the playing, playing the game and everyone was saying that it's fantastic pretty much. Playing tip of the spear, 60 FPS, 4K, 90 FOV, like yeah. That's pretty nice. Even recorded a video here of Sketch playing some MCC on PC. Well deserved, man. You get a chance to play around and have some fun with this awesome project you guys have been working on for so long. You can just see the, the happiness on his face. He's just so happy to get a chance to play this game. And you know, I will be too once I get a chance in that flighting program. Nudge, nudge, nudge. But not only did we get to see and hear about people's experiences with it, we actually got a chance to see a little bit of the UI so we can see what kind of settings we have for the MCC on PC. So let's take a look at that right now. Okay, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the quality of this part of the video. It's I ripped this off of Twitter here. I actually recorded my screen so you can see what's going on here. But we can see we can change the FOV right here. This person had it set to 78. I believe I read that it maxes out at 90, which is you know fine. I think I've seen some games go up to 120, but 90 FOV is probably a pretty good version. There you got look inversion, flight inversion, crouch mode. You can so you can toggle it or you can hold it. Uh, zoom mode, toggle crouch or toggle I should say thank god I love using toggle zoom when it comes to my aiming down sights and guns or scoping down things holding it down really just throws off my aim so I love to have that feature in there uh, crosshair position you can actually have it centered or I'm assuming probably also legacy as well which is a great thing to have just as an option right there obviously I think most PC people will want to have that centered but uh, I'm really glad to have it um, you know, have an option to do legacy as well. And you get different mouse sensitivity, vehicle mouse sensitivity, zoomed mouse sensitivity as well. Mouse acceleration you can turn off on top of that. Mouse acceleration minimum rate, mouse acceleration max accelerate, mouse acceleration in scale, mouse acceleration exponent. So uh, a lot of different kinds of stuff right there. Usually you don't want to mess with mouse acceleration at all. You really want to have raw inputs. So then it just kind of feels like how your mouse feels when you're using your PC as a whole. Um, because mouse acceleration is really just kind of like what the uh, controller does on your sticks where basically you move it a little bit there won't be a whole lot of motion but if you kind of drag super far across it really excels that motion so it gives you a, an inconsistency in your sensitivity so normally you're going to have that turned off tips and tricks for you guys right here uh, mouse, mouse smoothing I guess you know just one of those options in case people want it kind of thing we can also change our key bindings as you can see you can move forward a WASD your pretty standard movements right there primary fire you can change uh, aim to zoom, you can change, jump, you can change, crouch, melee attack, reload, throw grenade, uh, all these different kinds of things you'd assume to have options for and yeah, you can change them exactly how you would like, which is freaking awesome. I really do enjoy that. So yeah, that was Reach's presence right there on E3 floor. People said it was great. It looks great and I'm really excited to get a chance to hopefully get my hands on this as soon as possible. And you know, I'll definitely will be talking about it for you guys if I can either stream it play it, post it, whatever, you know I'll do it on this channel. So if you want to stay up to date with that, make sure you tap subscribe, people. Subscribe, people, subscribe. But anyways, let's get into those patch notes for the MCC. All right, so some changes came to the CE rocket launcher where they removed the auto aim from the red reticle position. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about here, basically is when you're aiming at a guy with a red reticle with a rocket launcher, you're 
your magnetism would kind of kick in and so your rocket would kind of you know follow along with the guy kind of like how your standard controller red radical range magnetism works but normally the rocket launcher doesn't have that and so it really kind of messes up your aim sometimes with that in with that feeling because rocket launchers have never really had some kind of like auto aim effect to it and so what they did is actually remove the red radical range lock on ability for it so Basically, it kind of falls in line with the legacy version of how the rocket launcher is supposed to act for how it used to be before and after. Basically, put it in the exact same position and it misses right there. So, it kind of right there, obviously. And that time it hit. Didn't move his rocket launcher at all, but it just kind of like auto aimed for it and it hit him. So, what they did is help remove that red radical range magnetism right there for you guys. And so, then you actually have to be on target when shooting your rocket launcher. Now also in this post for C, they mentioned about how they adjusted the vehicle set in Halo 2 Combat Evolved Big Team Battle Modes, uh, but they don't really go into specifics of what they actually changed or what they did. They just said that they adjusted. So maybe just like positioning the vehicles, maybe maybe removed like one or two here or there, but nothing too drastic, I guess, to really make sure that people know exactly what was changed. That's my guess. Now a very common issue that Halo 2 was having that there was a lot of kill trading happening with it. With it. So basically what happened is that they fixed an issue which made kill training significantly more common than the legacy versions. Obviously when you guys shoot like the exact same time that uh, you know it's going to be a kill trade but sometimes uh, that tr kill trade window can be a little bit too generous and I think that's probably what was going on with the MCC version of Halo 2. And we have a video here to show you what we're talking about. Alright guys here so we have a video just kind of showing you the kill trading before and after issue that was going on. You can see right here before and after kill traded obviously basically like said, it was an issue with some synchronicity issues right now and so then once uh they fixed it basically making it so then like if someone dies their trigger pulls are still not being registered and so then the kill trade doesn't happen so basically that kill trades do still happen in heal 2 but the window of it happening has been decreased and so then it's way less uh, uh, of a common issue. Now a pleasant surprise right here on the bottom of this post right here, Postums does mention about how the community main maps are actually in the MCC right now, ready for matchmaking. They just need a little bit longer for them to be put into actual matchmaking. So uh, I don't know if you guys remember this mat, this video. I'm assuming he's talking about those community maps that I mentioned like over a year ago talking about how they're going to be implemented in the MCC and then they were like oh we're actually just going to go fix the whole thing and probably got really sidetracked but uh, there's a group of maps that were like Halo 2 Anniversary I think specific that are looking to be added in to the matchmaking for MCC which is like thank god because we need more Halo 2 Anniversary maps because there's like just a handful of those maps so game those playing that mode gets really boring really quick and so if he's talking about those maps which I'm assuming he is uh, we're going to be looking for some new maps coming in for the MCC, which can be fantastic. And lastly here, guys, the pricing for MCC on the PC. Now, we do know that uh, with Reach is coming to the Xbox for f multiplayer is coming for free. That's going to be added on there. No problem. The campaign and firefight are going to be an extra $5 for, the, for your console players. Now, if you're on the PC, and you want to experience the MCC, well, the MCC on PC is going to be re incrementally each game one at a time. And each one of those games is going to cost you, <gasps> drum roll please, $10 in each. Which, obviously, this is a huge undertaking to have MCC come to the PC. A lot of effort's being put into this, so yeah, obviously, they're going to have to pay for this. Now, this, this does intrigue me when it comes to playing MCC on PC, because there is the PC Game Pass that was recently just announced and shown off at E3. Now, the Ultimate Edition was, or Deluxe Edition, whatever they're calling it, uh, was really fully announced at E3. We're saying that you can get every game on PC, every game on console, on top of having Xbox Gold for $15 a month, which is like a pretty damn good deal. And then, if but then obviously, if you don't, if you unsubscribe, you don't have any of those games, is my guess. Where if you do this for uh, MCC on PC, obviously you can buy each game individually and you'll have those forever in case you want to like unsubscribe from Game Pass or something like that. But I mean, with Game Pass, obviously, there's a lot of great Microsoft titles on there. Um, this might actually really get me into wanting to pay like the 15 a month 
to do the ultimate game pass i can play any game on console or any game on pc that i would like that's from that's teamed up with microsoft so it's like yeah i'm spending basically gonna be spending ten dollars every time that new game comes out but why not spend the ten dollars each month and also get every game in the catalog as well which is like 100 plus games every mcc game is going to be on the game pass on top of that and so it really kind of comes with your decision like are you a person who's gonna be playing other games on the microsoft platform or you can be kind of thinking like no i just want to play halo that's all i want and you can do it that way as well now me personally i think i might just buy the game separately uh just because in case i just want to like unsubscribe from the microsoft uh game pass which maybe i would in the future maybe i wouldn't i don't know but then in case i would still have the mcc on pc where then if i was gonna unsubscribe i wouldn't have those games at all anymore which would be terrible so what are your thoughts on the pricing on the mcc right now i think it's rather fair let me know in the comment section down below guys i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you like this video and found the information useful from it please make sure to tap that like button so it greatly helps out the video and channel we're a small channel we're trying to make it out here so every like is greatly appreciated if you're new to the channel and stay updated with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe with the bell and if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right now and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.